Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, The Purpose Driven Homestead. Today is all about hatching quail eggs. We're gonna share with you a little bit about why these little birds are the next perfect step for our little homestead. Stick around for the journey. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is the reason we chose Coternix quail is because they're not considered game birds like a lot of other quail. Things like Bob White are actually considered a wild bird, a wild game bird. So because of that, we didn't want to have to deal with all the permits and that kind of stuff that would come along with it. So Coternix quail are considered a domesticated uh, type of bird, so we don't require permits to do that. So yesterday we actually received our eggs in the mail from Meyer Hatchery. Ours came all the way from Arizona, so that's a pretty long trip uh, based off us in the Midwest. So we were a little worried about how cold they were. They were packed really, really well. Uh, they didn't stay outside very long, so I'm hoping that the journey didn't take too long and the hatch rate won't be impacted by it. So that's what we're hoping, but we'll just have to see, time will tell. So the instructions from the hatchery were that we were to let these eggs sit for 12 to 18 hours to acclimate to the room temperature before we put those in the incubator. So that's exactly what we did. We've actually got these sitting out right now. We're gonna show you the incubator that we're about to put them in and start the process. So the incubator we're gonna to use today is called a Nurture Right 360. It's made by Harris Farms, which I think is owned by Mana Pro Corporation. I think they bought them, but this is one of the most highly rated incubators that we found. We wanted to try to go with something that we could use for multiple types of birds. So one day if we decide that we want to hatch chickens or ducks or even pheasant eggs, this incubator actually works with all those types of birds. It also has an auto egg turner, so it turns the eggs regularly. And in addition to that, it also has a timer, an egg timer, so to speak, that stops the turning about three days before the eggs are supposed to hatch, right? So it'll let them sit so they can start hatching on their own. One of the other things that we thought was really cool about this one is you actually can add the water externally, so you don't have to open up the incubator to add your water to keep, so it keeps the humidity correct on the inside based off the egg. You can add that water from the outside, which will eliminate opening and closing the incubator and changing those temperatures, which could cause your hatch rates to suffer as a result. So in case you were wondering, this incubator will hold 22 chicken eggs. It'll hold about 18 duck eggs and around 20 to 22 pheasant eggs. So as far as quail eggs are concerned, these guys are really small. So it actually will hold over 40 quail eggs. Now they do have some aftermarket products that you can put in that will fit exactly these side, size eggs. But what we found is that most people that are hatching quail eggs will just double these up and put them in the chicken uh, slots as well. And if you double those up at 22 or so chicken eggs, you can get about 44 of these quail eggs in there. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the unpacking of our incubator. We actually still haven't unpacked it. It's brand new. We've never incubated any eggs before, which is gonna be kind of a cool thing for us to try. So we're really excited about that. So we're gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna show you what the incubator looks like, show us unpacking it, and then we're gonna to move to putting the eggs in and start the process. Okay guys, so here is our Nature Right 360. Now this is the box that it came in. We actually have not unboxed it yet at all, so hopefully nothing's broken. So I'm gonna have my little buddy jump in and help me out here a little bit. So the first thing is we've got our instructions here. Take out our packaging here. So those are our instructions to see how it works, all right. the power supply. So this first thing here is the power cord. You're gonna to need to plug that obviously into the wall. And then the second cord comes down from the base and it's actually to power the egg turner. So it's got an automated egg turner that's gonna turn this thing around. This is the power unit. So once we plug this up, this display will all turn on. 
but that's where the power comes in for the whole thing. And then this piece runs down to the egg turner and powers it. So if you don't plug that in, it won't turn. Okay, we're gonna power up now. See, this is the temperature that it's sitting at right now and then relative humidity. So we turned the light off so that we can show you another feature that the incubator has as well. It's got a built-in LED light so that you can check on your quail as, or any egg as they're developing and you should be able to see through it. So my little helper is gonna do that right now. He's gonna lay an egg on the LED. Now he's gonna turn the light on. And you can see, obviously that's one of the spots but as you turn it if this were incubated already you'd be able to see if there was a little embryo moving around inside there so that's a really neat feature that this has as well and you can check some of your eggs to see if they're developing and even mark them if they're not developing so you can see maybe some of the eggs that may fail and may not uh, may not hatch we're going to show you next is the vent that comes on the incubator this actually will allow you to change the humidity inside of it so my helper is going to now do that so you can see now that allows more air to exit and you can control the humidity of it that way so i thought i'd share real quickly how we've arranged our eggs in here we put two into each one of these bays as you can see as they go around we've got two in each bay and then around the central spoke we also have two in each bay and then we had enough spaces left that we were able to actually put the last four in individual bays by themselves. So you can see that that's the layout that we have that's set up for our incubator. Now these guys are very small, as you can see, that's the end of my finger. And they're all very colorful. I think these are some of my favorites over here. Some of the darker ones just look really, really cool, but they're all kind of speckly and different. And those are our eggs. So you can see here that our temperature is hovering right around 99 degrees, which is right where it should be for quail eggs. So it kind of teeters back and forth and about 37 to 38% humidity. And that's what we're running at right now. If we hit our menu here, we can see one time real quick. It says we have 13 days until they hatch. So that's it guys. You've seen us unpack our incubator now and we've packed all of our eggs inside and we've started the incubation process. Now, we're gonna have to wait around 18 days for these to start hatching. We may get some as early as 17 and some as late as 19, but most of the time our expectations are, and from everything that we've read, our quail eggs should hatch around day 18. So we're hoping for a really high hatch rate and we'll share more of that with you as we get closer to that time. So stick around for the next video, guys. We're gonna be able to show you all those cute little chicks. We're gonna show you what the hatch rate looked like, how the whole process worked out, and we'll move them to the brooder box in that next step. So we look forward to seeing you then and check out some of these other videos while you wait. And we'll see you next time on the Purpose Driven Homestead.